بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از اسد یعقوب فرام لاہور پاکستان بٹ ناؤ آئی ایم ان کرتار پور صاحب اینڈ ہیئر ویو کم ٹو اے پلیس اٹس ویری امپارٹنٹ پلیس فار سکھ ریلیجن اینڈ آل دا سکھ پیپل ان انڈین پنجاب اینڈ ایلس ویئر دس پلیس از ویری ویری امپارٹنٹ سو آئی ڈسائڈیڈ ٹو کم اوور ہیئر ٹو میک دس ویڈیو دس ویڈیو از گوئنگ ٹو بی آئلس ویڈیو and uh, you can watch it and especially sick people they can have a spiritual feeling with this video and i just wanted to motivate you to achieve your goals that's why i came here all the way from lahore it took me around three and a half hours to reach here and very soon they are going to open the border as well so probably who knows from this part of the country we are going to have the workshop for you as well okay so anyways let's take a start it's going to be a complete workshop on ielts and the topic which we are going to discuss that is lexical resources for band 678 i made a video last time that video was about uh, coherence and cohesion it was rather a complete workshop on coherence and cohesion and many of you liked it so i decided to come up with another thing and once again i'm thankful to aeo lahore that's what we call idp here they arranged a workshop and they invited me to attend the workshop and this is what i got from the workshop it's a takeaway and i'm going to share that with you anyways Lexical resource uh, for band score 6, 7, 8. Many of you need 6 bands to get immigration. Many of you need 7 bands or 8, 7, 7 and all that. So that's what I'm going to tell you now how you can improve your vocabulary. Uh, developing range of vocabulary. Now the first thing is you need to improve your English vocabulary through reading. Reading is the best way to improve your vocabulary and there are certain topics which come in IELTS writing. Let me tell you lexical resource that is important for IELTS writing as well as for IELTS speaking because there they see what is your vocabulary range. Let me tell you whenever you are asked to write on a certain topic because you know topic is same if you have limited vocabulary you tend to repeat the same things again and again and again and you tend to repeat the same words over and over again that's what they check whether you know the alternatives of the words or you have that limited vocabulary which you are repeating again and again so remember if you want to get band score six seven eight you must avoid repetition instead of that you need to find a replacement for that Anyways, now the common topics you need to read to improve your IELTS writing, especially uh, essay writing. The common topics are like technology, the environment, crime and justice, health, globalization, international development, education, transportation, traditional and uh, traditions and culture. So these are the nine hot topics in IELTS nowadays they always give you essays on these topics so you need to prepare yourself I mean now for technology if you want to get good vocabulary for technology either you can read an essay on technology or second thing you can just read an article on technology that article can give you some new words which are related to technology now remember for example if you're writing an essay and in the essay you're writing again and again technology 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 examiners will get to know that this candidate has got the poor vocabulary and that will give you five bands or something like that so you need to come up with alternatives right after this like environment you need to come up with new things about environment crime and justice and all that so let's go on try to guess the meaning of new words from the context of what you read or hear whenever you read any book magazine and all that you need to come up with some new words and you need to try to read those new words from there next you can write down new vocabulary words in a notebook i call it personal dictionary so you need to write them in your personal dictionary that might help you uh, or record them on an app on your phone Okay, now after this, I'm going to give you a seven step formula. Remember, in order to learn English vocabulary, what you need to do, I'm going to tell you that, I mean, there is a seven step formula to improve your English vocabulary. And there are seven things. Whenever you come across a new word, there are seven things you have to do about that new word. And that is going to ensure 
that you are actually getting the word otherwise some students what do they do they learn words meanings words meanings words meanings and they 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 learn around 3000 words 5000 words but that vocabulary without context is useless so i'm going to tell you seven things you need to do whenever you come up with a new word okay the first thing for example the word is tourism uh, it's the new new word so you learn about tourism the first thing you need to know that is what part of speech this word is tourism it, whether it is noun or verb or adjective so tourism is actually noun clear whenever you learn new word you should know whether the word is noun verb adjective pronoun adverb and all that so tourism is noun now second thing you need to learn the definition of the word now definition is the activity of traveling to a place or the business of providing hotels restaurants and entertainment for people who are traveling that is what we call tourism okay so after the definition it's basically you need to know what are the synonyms of that word now word with the same meaning synonym means the word with the same meaning i'm telling you from ielts point of view how you need to learn the new words it means sightseeing the synonym of tourism is sightseeing after that we've got the antonym a word with the opposite meaning now antonym of tourism is staying at home or not traveling and then you need to see an example sentence remember never learn a word without any example sentence of that word that word is going to be useless for you if you learn the word without any example sentence so here example sentence is tourism is a booming business in many places of the world then we've got collocations collocations are very 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 important that's an important criteria in IELTS collocations what is collocation international tourism a group of words now you got to see what are the words that go with tourism like tourism industry international tourism package tourism mass tourism etc right so this is basically a seven step formula whenever you learn a new word first of all you got to see what is the word learn the spelling of the word second you got to see what part of speech the word is noun adjective and all that then you need to learn the definition of the word in english then you need to learn some synonyms of that word because in ielts you always need synonyms then you need to learn some antonyms for contrast and then you got to find an example sentence of that word and obviously some collocations with that word thank you very much if you like this video hit on the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel i also teach ielts online if you want to join my online ielts classes you can contact me for that asad yakub wishes you all the best from kartarpur sahib very close to Indian border. Take good care of yourselves. Allah Hafiz.